Hi everybody and welcome back to another Let's Trek Together video. So after we finished our 14 day state challenge, we thought that we should do a gear video for you just cause I don't think we really have aside from our big three and we just wanna go a little more in depth of what we're actually bringing on this five month hike. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel because in five short days, we will be starting our AT through hike and you don't wanna miss any of it. So let's just get started. So here we have our pack our tent and our quilt. We're not gonna go too in depth about it because we did make a big three video. If you go searching back, it's probably our third or fourth video ever made on the channel. So go check that out. We'll put a link in the description and also go check out our website, our Wix site that also has a description of our big three. But just so you know, we have the Z packs are call zip 64 liters. Mm -hmm. We have the tiger wall UL three by big Agnes. And we have our enlightened equipment revelation 20 degree quilt. Now let's get into the next most important thing, how we are going to store, cook and eat our food. So here we have the MSR ultralight cook set for two. And this comes with a little carrying case, the stove, a pot cover, a little metal handle to grab it, and the pocket rocket. And it also has a measuring cup involved. So what's also awesome about this is you can store the gas tank in here, it fits in here, and that's awesome so it's not floating around in your bag and just becoming a mess everywhere. My only reservations about having a cook set for two people is in case Molly and I get separated and I need to cook something or she needs to cook something separately. So I guess we'll figure out how that system is going to work on trail, but I think this is gonna be good. So next is our food storage. So for myself, I went on zpacks.com and I purchased their large bear bag. And with that, it also comes with a rock sack and cord to hang with. So mine's not a really full put together thing that you can order, but what I do have is a 20 liter Osprey dry sack. I really like the Osprey dry sacks. It might be a little too big, but they only had a 14 liter and a 20 liter. So I decided to go a little bit on the bigger side just for safety. Um, I'm gonna just use paracord, a little bag that I have and a carabiner. So for the food that we're not gonna be eating right out of the pot, we have the Ozark collapsible silicone cup. So you can see what it looks like there and then it collapses down really lightweight. And then what we are gonna be using to eat is the REI spork. So we both have different systems for our water filtration. And for myself, I went out and I purchased the Catadyne Bee Free water filter and it is one liter. The reason I went out and purchased this is because I originally owned a Sawyer Mini and the water flow when you are trying to pour it into a water bottle is absolutely terrible. And I used this on the Arizona trip and it worked like a charm. So I don't have the Sawyer Mini, but I have the Sawyer Squeeze and this actually worked really well. I would say it took us about the same time to filter all of our water. So I am curious about the Catadyne. I might switch to it when this runs out eventually, but that's something we'll tackle when it happens. I actually have two of these. They're both one liter. I'm tempted to bring both of them so I could store one of them and have extra water, but we'll see. I might not need that, but this one is awesome. I also used it on the Arizona trip and I love it. So next is our sleeping system. Besides our quilt that we will be using, we both have the Thermarest Neo Air, the really crinkly yellow pad. It's really comfortable. I read that this one is really good for side sleepers because I'm one of those and I really don't want my body hanging the ground. And it proved to work really well on the Arizona trip. Just a little loud, but everyone else is gonna be using them as well. So I think this used to be a luxury item. However, most AT through hikers are carrying pillows these days. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we are both doing the Trekology Aloof Pillow 2.0. I have a medium size and Molly has a large. You can just buy this right on Amazon. So now we're gonna get into some miscellaneous items and we're gonna start with a product by Thermarest and it is their Z seat. And this can be used for so many things. This was the best $10 purchase mm -hmm. I have ever done. This is a super ultra light collapsible seat that you can use on the ground, on a rock, on anything. Uh, on the Arizona trip, I actually used it in my quilt mm -hmm. and I put it under my butt to make sure that the heat stayed in and it worked perfectly. You can also use it as an extra little comfort for your pillow. Like I'm somebody that likes a really big squishy kind of pillow. And so sometimes the pillow isn't enough and I actually stuck this under it as well. And that gave it a little bit more elevation as well. So the next item we're gonna talk about are our trekking poles. I have the Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles. I just got them off of Amazon, but they work really well. 
and Molly gave this to me as a gift, um, and they are the Tolka trekking poles, so I don't really know anything about them, but they work well, and that's all that matters. So this is an extra item for our tent that we haven't talked about that we just got. It's the Gossamer Gear Polycryo Large tent footprint. So this is for on the ground just so our tent doesn't get as dirty, especially when it's raining. It's just a clear plastic film that you put on the ground and it helps to keep your tent a little bit cleaner. So another item that we purchased from Gossamer Gear is their hip belt pouch. And this is going to go right on the side just for easier access to maybe snacks or our phone or mm -hmm. earphones or just smaller miscellaneous items. It is totally waterproof and it's really easy to put on. There are just two straps on the back and you can slide it right onto your hip belt. So the last item that I personally purchased from Gossamer Gear is their Light Flex umbrella and it is super lightweight and I think this is going to save me a lot of mental wear and tear when it is just raining four days straight on the Appalachian Trail. Fun fact, the entire first week that we start the Appalachian Trail is just going to rain. So our gear will get a lot of testing out. I hope she's wrong. So with that being said, the rain gear that we will be using is the Frog Tog Ultralight Rain Suit. It's not the most breathable thing in the world, but it's cheap, it's lightweight, and a lot of people use it, so we will be as well. So I know that a lot of the bigger companies like z -Packs comes out with rain mitts, but we've heard a lot of mixed reviews on them, and they are a little bit pricey, and we heard of an alternative way, and it seems a little bit strange, and we're just going to see how it works out, but we went to Walmart and we picked up dishwashing gloves. We'll see if they stay waterproof. I don't think anything's truly going to be waterproof, but this is a really cheap and very easy to replace item that we can use. So in regards to protecting our actual pack from the rain, I went out and I purchased the Z-Packs pack liner and you just insert it into the actual backpack. The packs that we have are water resistant, however, they're not waterproof. And again, four days of wetness on the AT is definitely going to soak through the backpack. What I will be using is something I found on Amazon. It's called the Grips Waterproof Pack Cover. So this will go on the outside of the pack. And what's really cool about it is that there's actually a little clip that you clip under the straps itself on the back. So even if there's rain, there's less of a chance of it flying off. <laughs> I'm also gonna bring a trash bag to put in the inside of my pack because you never know what's gonna happen or if this will work, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> So the next item on our list is our headlamps. For me, I have the Nightcore 360 lumens rechargeable headlamp. So mine actually, you have to carry a little USB charger and plug it in to recharge, but it lasts really long. And I guess I'm old school where mine takes batteries, but mine is the Black Diamond Spot 325 lumen headlamp. I personally don't wanna to have to keep carrying around a bunch of USB cables and waste my battery pack. So I'm cool with just holding onto batteries. So speaking of charging things, we are also going to be carrying portable power charging banks. So I have the Charmas 10,400 mAh charging pack. I was reading reviews and they say that you can charge about four or five times with an iPhone, which is awesome. I hope it really does last that long. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> and I have the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 mAh and I think mine is also about four to five charges. However, I think that is on like an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 8, and I have an iPhone 11, so I'm praying that it gets about three charges. I might have to go out and get another one of these. Also a little doubling gear thing here. This little pack that carries my charger, I'm going to be using to hang my bear bag. So I'll put some rocks in it and throw it over the tree. So nice way to double here. Super smart. So the next item that I'm going to talk about is actually a luxury item. Danny got this as a birthday present for me back in October, and it is the Hummingbird Single Person Hammock. It's only 5.2 ounces, and it's super, super small. And then it also comes with the hammock straps. I'm super excited to take hammock naps all the time. So I guess you're probably wondering what we're going to be filming with and what we're going to be filming on. And we're pretty much just going to use my iPhone 11. Uh, originally, we were going to use the GoPro that we used in Arizona. However, being able to transfer files and uploading and not having service just kind of spooked me a little bit. So I wanted to stick with something that I knew I can edit right on the phone and upload right to YouTube. Um, I will be using this little tiny tripod that I got from Amazon. It is super lightweight and it is just the perfect size. So just like everybody else, we will be going with the unfashionable 
Crocs as our camp shoes. They're super comfy and lightweight and they're just a really nice thing to put your feet in after a long day of hiking. So we will be using Crocs. Another really important item that we will have are our trail runners. So I am using the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. They're technically not in stock anymore, but I got them off of Amazon and I actually ordered two pairs of them. They're super comfortable and I have a backup pair when these run out. And you've probably seen in the videos, but I am going to be wearing the Ultra Lone Peak 4.0s. So we do have way more items, including clothing and toiletries and food. However, we're not gonna mention in this video, if you'd like a full comprehensive list, you can go onto our Wix site, which we will link down in the description. And it will also have the weight of each item. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when all of our videos are coming out. Like we said earlier, we're starting in five days, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of content on the trail really, really soon. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please drop it down in the comment section. We love being able to have a good conversation with you guys. And as always, let's, let's trek, trek together. together.